Hall Suites Hotel in Las Vegas. Here's your host, Jonathan Ross. Thank you so much. Welcome to Penn and Teller Fool Us, the show with illusions more convincing than the story you told your partner about what you did the last time you came to Las Vegas. <laughs> Backstage are some of the greatest magicians in the world. Now, they're not here to fool me because, of course, that would be easy. Why, only last year I gave all my life savings to a Nigerian prince. <laughs> no, tonight our acts have the harder task of trying to dupe the undupable, the great Penn and Teller. Now, leaving Teller speechless is pretty much a given, but having Penn shut up means you've done something really remarkable. Here they are right now. Will you please go crazy for Magic's version of Donny and Marie? It is, of course, Penn and Teller. <laughs> He's a little bit rock That's and roll. That's the way we like to roll. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you guys to get comfortable in your seats so we can get on with the show. It's Penn and Teller, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get the show going and let's bring out our first magician. I'm John Armstrong, and I'm originally from Orlando, Florida. I am dyslexic, and school was impossible for me. But then I discovered comics, and I could really enjoy them. Growing up, I always wanted to be a superhero. Actually, I still want to be a superhero. One of my proudest achievements was that I was able to co-write my own comic book. It's about a magician like myself. Hold out your hand. I'm attracted to magic and comics for the same reason. They're both these amazing sort of art forms that allow the author, the creator, to give their audience a world they never thought was uh, possible. This next performer became the resident magician at Disney World when he was just 20 years old, which means we know he can fool a giant mouse and a talking duck, but can he fool Penn and Teller? Please welcome John Armstrong. It's an honor to be here. I was wondering if I can get you two gentlemen to come and join me up here. And Jonathan, you seem nice I'll enough. I'll go here. You go here. Yeah, yeah, if you don't mind. I'll, I'll go, I'll go here. Uh, it's actually not me that's here to fool you. It's this little guy here. It's a suction cup attached to a tiny uh, dowel rod. It is adorable. Uh, and what I'm going to show you is the most impressive thing you will ever see in your entire life. Seriously, from this moment on, your lives are going to go downhill. When I do this for little kids, I feel bad. All right, watch. Thank you. Just kidding, but you can see in a little suction cup, you know, that it's only supposed to pick up one card at a time, right? That's how sure. it works. But if you give it a little bit of a rev, watch. Hmm. Totally works. You guys just see this every day? Is that the idea? Okay, here, check this out. Check this out, make sure the, uh, there's sticky tape, nothing like that on them. Uh, check out the plunger, make sure it's a perfectly ordinary tiny plunger that you'd find in any Barbie yeah. dream home. Yeah. Yes, okay, good. <laughs> Take it back. Uh, but we're in America, what do we care about? Bulk. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Oh, tiny plunger. <laughs> now, the tiny plunger, he is educated. Uh, he is learned. He understands things. I'll show you what I mean by that. Jonathan, give me a number between 10 and 20. Uh, 15. 15. Again, ready? Watch. Please count those out loud down to the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen, exactly. Tiny plunger. Tiny plunger. Now, he just doesn't understand card quantity. He understands card identity, the difference between one card and another card. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If you could just touch one of those for me, please. Sure. Just grab it right out. Okay, sure. Excellent. And uh, what's going to happen? Just take the card and show it around. And actually, show it, but I'm going to have to hide the plunger so he doesn't see. Everybody see the card? Yes. Good. I'm going to put the plunger so we back. Don't let him see. Sure and, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And, uh, and then place it back inside there for me. Good. Okay. The tiny plunger will now memorize 